Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and I think it's finally time to build my uh, GPU water loop. I'm not going to wait until I get a 3080 or 3090 RTX card because who knows how long that's going to take. I'm sure a lot of you people haven't been able to get one. So I'm going to use my old and trusty 1080 Ti. Let's begin with removing the top screws. Then we can remove the coolers. It can be a bit sticky with the thermal paste. Just give it a good pull and don't forget to remove the cable. Then remove the two screws at the back plate. Oh, and also guys, don't forget to remove that tiny little screw that is upside down in the cart. Guess why I am seeing this to you now in a screenshot. Yes, I forgot it. Because it was not in the manual. But luckily, I am a sort of person that double checks everything and I saw that the GPU block uh, wasn't as perfectly aligned so it was that screw that was pushing against the GPU water block so I had to take everything apart and then reassemble everything again and then you can remove all the rest of the screws and when you did that you can remove the bracket And then you can clean the GPU chip. I don't use any products. Just an old t-shirt. You can clean the edges with one of these. When everything is cleaned, it's time to put on the thermal tape. Everything is in the manual. We have three sizes in thickness. Don't forget they have a protective layer on both sides. It is easier to remove that first and then cut them into little pieces. I did not and it was a real struggle uh, to get that protective layer off onto both sides. Another lesson learned. And this is the final result. This is the thickest, this one is the medium, and these are the thinnest. Also don't forget the GPU paste. And now it's time to install the GPU water block onto the card. Um, I do it like this. It's most easiest, I think, uh, with the thickest side over the table, so it's flat and then put the card on top it and this way you can align the card with the holes and then just put the screws in and then first I do the screws of the GPU core Tighten that in a crisscross pattern. Okay. Now, uh, make sure you don't forget to take out this screw right here but it's it's on this side screwed in so the screw was pushing against the card and the GPU block so nothing was lined up properly so I had to disassemble 
everything again so learn from my mistake and make sure that one is out now we have three different sizes we have a short one a middle one and a long one we only have two of the very long one and then the middle ones we have the most of so use them for the gpu core and also for around the card and then the short ones are for the middle holes in the card okay the card is in now the hardest part bending the tubes drill some holes and fill the water loop also very important don't forget to put some drain plugs in there or you will have a very bad day okay my very first gpu water loop is done now as you can see my left reservoir is a lot smaller and that's because my tubes are coming over the reservoir so i had to use a small one so everything could fit now luckily this is just a prototype so everything is still going to change so this was a very good practice for me i hope you liked the video and you all have a nice day bye